blood of Jesus will come upon you right now. Keep you in his hair. God, I thank you for your blessing. Strength, leadership, power, authority are God's gift to us as men. We have to cherish that, not abuse it. Denzel Washington may have caused some trouble for Tyler Perry without saying a word. Denzel's actions hinted at Perry's potential lack of genuineness, contrasting with Denzel's straightforwardness. Denzel is a devout Christian, and his beliefs are evident in his interviews and acting roles. Well, you have to use your gifts. You know, faith without works. It's not. it's not an act for him, it's authenticity. On the other hand, Tyler Perry, while undoubtedly talented, presents a more complicated picture when it comes to religion. You know I ain't no Christian, Reverend. You ain't gonna get offended? <laughs> no. Now you know you Christians get real offended when somebody try to challenge your theology. He incorporates religious themes into his work, but it often feels more like a narrative tool than a genuine passion. In public demeanor, Denzel and Tyler are quite different. Denzel prioritizes dignity and staying true to his values, maintaining a professional image. However, Tyler seems more willing to adapt to fit Hollywood standards, even if it means compromising some artistic integrity. Some of his choices, like dressing in women's clothing for comedic purposes, raise questions about the messages he sends regarding gender roles. Interestingly, Denzel hints at potential shady dealings in Hollywood, particularly concerning Tyler Perry. While Denzel's success stems from talent and hard work, there are murmurs that Perry's path to success might involve manipulation or pressure on other black actors. This raises concerns, especially given Perry's significant influence in the industry. Comparing Denzel and Tyler, it's evident they have different approaches. Denzel remains steadfast in staying true to himself, while Tyler appears more willing to navigate the complexities of the industry, even if it means bending the rules. So let's dive into whether Denzel Washington embodies qualities that Tyler Perry lacks. Denzel has seamlessly integrated his faith into his life and career. Unlike Tyler, Denzel's spirituality is isn't about showiness. It's about deep personal conviction and reflection. Through interviews and public appearances, Denzel has shared insights into his spiritual journey, revealing a genuine connection to his beliefs. For instance, during the 2022 Oscars controversy involving Will Smith, Denzel offered sage advice, highlighting the importance of humility amidst fame. Denzel said to me a few minutes ago, he said, at your highest moment, be careful, that's when the devil comes for you. This demonstrates Denzel's understanding of how spirituality intersects with success and the significance of staying grounded. In a recent conversation with the New York Times, Denzel opened up about navigating life's challenges with spirituality. He emphasized the role of faith as a source of strength during difficult times, viewing life's struggles through a spiritual lens. Denzel remains humble, attributing his success not only to his talent, but also to the blessings he's received from God. He stresses the importance of gratitude and humility, acknowledging the origin of his gifts. Moreover, Denzel's approach to filmmaking reflects his faith. He revealed that his decisions while working on A Journal for Jordan were guided by his belief in God, infusing spirituality into every aspect of the project. Denzel's commitment to aligning his work with his faith demonstrates his sincerity. Unlike Tyler Perry, who may prioritize conformity to Hollywood standards, Denzel remains steadfast in his spiritual principle, showing authenticity in both words and actions. In a world where toughness often equates to machismo, Denzel Washington chooses a different path. He believes true strength lies in humility and following the guidance of God. He emphasizes the importance of men appreciating the gifts bestowed upon them by a higher power. I've been high up on the mountain. I've been blessed. But that's a slippery slope. Yeah. And it's lonely up there. You know, people don't know that. Denzel rejects the traditional John Wayne style toughness, instead advocating for strength, leadership, power, authority, guidance, and patience as gifts from God. His words serve as a reminder to cherish these virtues rather than misuse them. Denzel's message urges individuals to embrace qualities rooted in faith rather than relying solely on bravado. In a separate interview, Denzel goes beyond his on-screen persona to use his platform to share the transformative influence of faith. His decision to openly discuss his spiritual journey reflects a commitment to authenticity and a desire to inspire others. He explains that he's moved beyond solely expressing himself through his work and is now actively sharing his experiences with God. Denzel's willingness to share both the highs and lows of his spiritual journey encourages others to embrace their own beliefs with courage and conviction. In a world where authenticity is increasingly rare, Denzel's steadfast commitment to humility and sincerity serves as a powerful example of the 
enduring importance of faith. On the other hand, there's Tyler Perry, who identifies as a Christian, but some critics view his brand of Christianity as potentially harmful and cult-like. Perry's religious views have even been parodied on The Boondocks, a satirical show known for its boundary-pushing humor since its debut in 2005. In a controversial episode created by cartoonist Aaron Magruder, Tyler Perry becomes the subject of satire. The Boondocks follows two African-American brothers, Huey and Riley, as they navigate life in a predominantly white suburb with their grandfather. The show has garnered attention for its sharp critique of society, and Perry's portrayal within it reflects broader conversations about religion and its portrayal in popular culture. The Boondocks traces the adventures of two brothers as they adjust to life in their new neighborhood. Over four seasons, the show delved into topics like race and politics, blending humor with insightful commentary. It enjoyed a successful nine-year run before concluding in 2014. In one notable episode titled Pause, the show took a jab at Tyler Perry, the mastermind behind Medea, a beloved character known for her quirky antics and gun-toting ways in Perry's plays and films. In Pause, Grandad finds himself cast in a play by Winston Jerome, a character resembling Medea. However, the twist is that Jerome is secretly gay and uses religion as a cover for his true identity. Following the episode's broadcast, reports surfaced, suggesting that Perry was upset by its portrayal of him. Allegedly, Perry took drastic measures, reportedly firing his entire staff to prevent leaks and possibly considering legal action against Aaron Magruder, the creator of the Boondocks. However, Perry publicly denied these claims, opting not to address the issue directly, but stating that silence was his chosen response. Despite Perry's denial, there were indications that he took some form of action. According to the Los Angeles Times, Perry supposedly lodged complaints with Turner Broadcast, the parent company of the network airing The Boondocks, and threatened to reassess his relationship with the company. At the time, Perry had multiple shows airing on TBS. Following these alleged actions, the pause episode seemingly disappeared from television screen, although it's unclear if it was officially banned. Carl Jones, a writer, producer, and actor on The Boondocks, shed light on the situation. He explained the genesis of the Winston Jerome character and why it irked Tyler Perry. Jones even shared an anecdote about nearly meeting Perry in person, only for the encounter to be canceled after a mutual acquaintance recalled Perry's unspoken feud with the Boondocks creator. Once, when I was in Atlanta, Michael Jai White, known for roles in movies like Spawn and Blood and Bone, whom I worked with on Black Dynamite, invited me to the set of something he was shooting for Tyler Perry. He suggested I stop by since I was in Atlanta. I agreed, but then he called me back and changed his mind, saying he forgot about it and I shouldn't come after all. Jones shared how they convinced Adult Swim to air the episode and mentioned that the original script had a character directly inspired by Tyler Perry. Initially, they even named the character Tyler Perry and made him look exactly like the real Tyler Perry. However, Adult Swim objected, so they changed the character's name to Emmett Perry Jr., which is Tyler Perry's real name. They thought they had slipped it past Adult Swim, but after about two weeks, Adult Swim caught on and reprimanded them for trying to be sneaky. Jones then altered the character's name and appearance to avoid further trouble. Despite these changes, Tyler Perry eventually realized the connection and personally contacted Adult Swim about it. Tyler himself called like, and said, you guys better not ever air that shit. You know, and at the time, he had a lot of shows at TBS. <laughs> You know, we were just the little small black cartoon. Regarding his Christianity, Tyler Perry has been associated with controversial preachers like Bishop T.D. Jakes. Perry once appeared at the Potter's House Church, led by Bishop Jakes, where he donated $1 million for church activities after the service. I didn't even know that he was he was trying to build this youth center. I didn't even know it, but I know how important the youth are. So we were sitting in the service and I leaned up toward him and I said, I've just been touched to give a million dollars. Moreover, during the same church service, Perry was observed laying hands on the esteemed religious leader, a gesture that drew criticism from Christians worldwide. Nevertheless, T.D. Jakes, a prominent figure in both religious and entertainment circles, has long been accustomed to the scrutiny of the media spotlight. His journey from humble beginnings to becoming a respected pastor with a vast following has been marked by a series of successes, controversies, highs, and lows over time. Bishop Jakes has constructed a vast empire with his church serving as the cornerstone of his influence. Rising from modest origins in West Virginia, he gained prominence as the leader of the Potter's House, a mega church based 
based in Dallas, Texas, known for his compelling presence and powerful public speaking skills. Jakes has mesmerized audiences globally, delivering messages of faith, hope, and empowerment. However, it's not just his sermons that have garnered attention. Jakes's connections in the entertainment industry have also contributed significantly to his public persona, from collaborations with notable figures in music and film to appearances on television shows and in movies. He has become a recognizable figure beyond the pulpit. Yet, with fame comes scrutiny, and Jakes has not escaped controversy. Recent reports have raised questions about his associations with certain individuals, particularly in the hip-hop community. One such individual is Sean P. Diddy Combs, the rap mogul known for his influence in music and business. The unexpected alliance between these two contrasting figures has sparked speculation and conspiracy theories. While Diddy is accustomed to controversy, this latest revelation adds a new dimension to the rapper's already controversial image. At the heart of the online chatter surrounding these prominent figures are a series of allegations made by a TikTok influencer. A viral video surfaced in which she made claims about Diddy's past relationship with his former partner Cassie, including allegations of physical and emotional abuse. Shockingly, the video also hinted at wild parties allegedly hosted by Diddy, with T.D. Jakes rumored to be a frequent attendee. Adding to the intrigue, the video alluded to a mysterious phone belonging to Diddy's late ex-girlfriend, Kim Porter, whose death remains shrouded in mystery and speculation. With Diddy's name thrust into the spotlight, this explosive video captivated the internet, leaving fans stunned. Particularly troubling were the allegations regarding Bishop Jakes's purported involvement in these questionable activities. As news of his alleged connection to Diddy circulated, numerous fans joined the conversation, eager to weigh in on the unfolding controversy. One user even hinted that this is just the beginning of what might unfold concerning T.D. Jakes Ministries. They mentioned, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are a lot of secrets in his closet, as well as concerns about how the ministry was managed. Jakes attending numerous parties hosted by Diddy is just scratching the surface. Stay tuned for further developments. In response to the accusations and the subsequent backlash on social media, the preacher seemingly addressed the claims during a recent church service streamed on YouTube. Jakes utilized his sermon to refute the allegations, deeming them entirely false. He emphasized, I didn't come here to persuade anyone because I know who I am. That's not the purpose. You can think what you want. I came here to fulfill my duty, to prophesy as commanded. I came to hear the master say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. In any case, it's evident that Denzel Washington and Tyler Perry don't necessarily share the same outlook on their faith. Just observe their language and the company they keep. Washington appears sincere in his beliefs, whereas Perry's stance seems less convincing. Anyway, that concludes this video, folks. Bye.